Now another thing you might notice is both hands are hooked up. And there's no real specific reason I'm doing that other than I like the way it feels. When this hand is up there and this hand is doing the work, it keeps me planted, it gives me a good base. It's no different than grabbing the bar. So I like to do that and it pulls me forward. So the chest is to the pad. With all these hammer strength movements for a back, you want to keep your chest on the pad and let the back do the work. When you take your chest off the pad, you're moving the weight with your torso, your arms and your delts. And the back that you're trying to target is not getting stimulated. The back muscles are obviously behind you. There's a lot of other muscles. These limbs, the delts, the rear delts, it'll get in the way and pick up the work and the load and do the work before it actually hits your back. So you don't wanna do that as a bodybuilder. You wanna stimulate the back as much as possible. So the swinging, the momentum, the, the PRs posting on social media, let's cut that shit out for a week. Think about would I do this exercise? Would I do this weight if I wasn't videotaping it? Put your phones and your cameras away for a week or two and your cell phones. Don't check emails, texts, and social media, and just work out. We're only here for an hour, really, give or take, so give it all you got. So, that's what I call a maple cake set. You're thinking to yourself, what the hell is this guy talking about? Last night, a friend of me and Juliana Malacarnes made us a big maple cake for after Olympia and I ate half the cake on my own. So that was the maple cake doing all the work. So here we are with the infamous deadlift. I like to think of deadlift, squats and bench press more of like a sport, an Olympic movement and not so much a bodybuilding movement. It's very easy to lose focus on your back during deadlifting, lose focus on your quads during squatting, lose focus on your chest during benching because there's so much that comes into play. But we change the movement around a little bit as bodybuilders to put more focus on our back. For instance, for taller guys, there's a lot of lower back and hamstring work on the first one third part of a deadlift. And that's great, but we're really trying to target our back. So three quarter deadlifts are great. Not that rack pull from here that I see guys doing 600 pounds. You want to bring it past the knee and come up. And when you come up, don't lock out. Don't throw all the way back on your lower spine. Just come up right before lockout or straight, straight up lockout, but don't put stress. Don't snap. No bouncing. I see too much bouncing at the bottom and at the top. And if you plummet, if you let two, three, four hundred pounds drop to the ground and then you yank it back up, you're using these things we call arms. They're not built to yank 400 pounds, 500 pounds off the ground and you can easily tear a bicep tendon or even worse. So be smart and don't be training for your ego, trying to deadlift the most amount of weight. It's about how you develop, unless of course, you're a power lifter. That's a different story, and you're probably not on my channel. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm trying to stay upright rather than really lean back and row it. So I'm pulling it down and my thumbs are ending up really at the bottom of my chest or pretty close. So what that does is it's targeting, targeting my lower lats. But you want to do your best to get a full, full stretch, which this kind of isn't allowing me. This, this lat pull down is a little bit seated too high. 
And on the way down, I'm staying here, I'll show you. I'm staying as upright as I can, rather than something that looks like this. So here, the weight's coming from here to here. Here, the weight's coming from here to here. It's entirely different. So I'm pulling with the lower lat. Here, I'm using more of the mid upper back. Some guys lean back so much, they're really just mimicking a seated row. So you wanna try to stay upright as possible. If you're very, very strict and you're really straight upright, you're not gonna be able to go as heavy and you might not even get that great of a contraction. So you want something in between. For me, I'm feeling it on my lower lats very much and I'm getting the contraction I want, so I'm happy. So you guys see here, I'm doing the underhand grip. Again, focusing on the lower, lower lats. And I position myself a little bit higher. I bring this a little higher so my chin is not here, rather my chest is here. So when my chest, bottom of my chest is here, my arms are gonna be pulling to here. If I'm lower, my arms pull here, upper back. So I'll come all the way up here, and I might even come off the pad a bit it helps me get a contraction. So the main, main focus is getting a full, full contraction of the lower lats. And where your fist ends up is a big factor. If I pull up here, I'm hitting my rear delts and my upper back. If I'm pulling here, it's more mid-back, little lat width. If I'm pulling down from below, it's gonna be lower lats. So that's what we're focusing on with this. And obviously, like anything else, you wanna go as heavy as possible, but we want to get that contraction, so especially being the last exercise is not going to be that heavy.